Joe Manchin is making a lot of enemies on the left because more so than any of his colleagues that are Democratic in the Senate, he's voting with Donald Trump and the Republicans to approve disastrous cabinet picks. So for example, he voted in favor of approving Scott Pruitt to be the new EPA chief. This is someone who has sued the EPA, who is a climate change denier. And Joe Manchin voted to approve him. He also voted in favor of Jeff Sessions to become attorney general. Jeff Sessions is a longtime racist. So the fact that someone who is a Democrat voted in favor of this horrible individual proves that Joe Manchin is not really that liberal. So I don't know why he's in the party. Now, as a result of these votes, he's been confronted by constituents at town halls who want the person that they elected to actually represent them. But in spite of this, he's remained defiant. Now, we got another taste as to how he's remaining defiant on a conference call that he had with constituents where he was just brazenly disrespectful. So Politico explains that during a conference call, the sometimes contentious roughly 15-minute conversation was largely focused on the prospect of Manchin scheduling a town hall for his constituents, an idea he said he was open to while also repeatedly asking what the objective would be. But as the town hall conversation got chippy and activists on the call brought up points of disagreement with the senator, Manchin explained what you ought to do is vote me out. Vote me out, I'm not changing. Find somebody else who could beat me and vote me out. Is that an invitation or a threat? I don't understand, responded one of the activists. Sure, it's an invitation. You ought to. I can tell that because we're on different pages. Are you a Bernie Sanders guy? asked the senator. Uh, well, I don't quite see the relevance of that to this conversation, responded the voter. I'm just asking, Manchin said. I stand with the West Virginians who voted for Bernie Sanders in the primary in all 55 counties where he won, the voter said. And then Manchin replied, with Bernie Sanders is not even a Democrat. Now afterwards, Manchin's communications director stated, Senator Manchin is very happy to have you quote him saying Bernie Sanders is not a Democrat. This is the amount of respect Joe Manchin has for his constituents. The people who elected him and gave him a job who pay for his salary with their tax dollars. This is how he talks to you guys. I'm not changing, vote me out. Unbelievable. And during this call, he not only attacked Bernie Sanders, but he even attacked Barack Obama quite unfairly. So in one of the few areas where Barack Obama was actually progressive, he didn't like that. So at one point on the call, speaking to one activist, Manchin also says what Barack Obama did to our state is criminal, referring to environmental regulations after the voter brought up Manchin's vote for Scott Pruitt to become administrator of the Environmental Protection Agency. They put 400 new regulations on top, and they just smothered us. It was ridiculous. Oh, is that so, Joe? So you think that what Obama did was criminal. Meanwhile, you are taking this position specifically because the oil and gas industry is your sixth largest donor, and you took more than $180,000 for them. So regulating them and getting them to not pollute the environment is criminal. But taking that money, taking a bribe, and then doing their bidding, that's not criminal. Legalized bribery is not criminal. Again, I, I don't know why you're a Democrat, you are more conservative than some Republicans. So it doesn't make sense to me why you remain in a party that clearly you don't identify with. And people talk about, well, West Virginia, it's a red state. So if you want to try to challenge uh, Joe Manchin and find someone that's more liberal, good luck with that. Well, uh, I don't care. We'll primary you. We will do what you ask. We will primary you. And if that doesn't work, then who cares if you lose to a Republican? Republicans are already targeting him because he's making himself an easy target because he's pissing off progressives and liberals. And Republicans know that they can capitalize on that and get him out and get a real Republican in. And look, nine times out of ten, when people see a Democrat who is Republican light, they're just going to go with the Republican. So Joe Manchin time and again has shown that he doesn't just not want to represent you if you live in West Virginia, but he actually holds contempt for you. He doesn't like that you're questioning him. He doesn't want to hold a town hall with you because he's afraid you're going to call him out on his bullshit. Well, Joe Manchin, you were elected. You are paid more than $180,000 a year to represent these people who you are lambasting on conference calls. Don't tell them, oh, you better primary me because I'm not changing. And if you can't beat me, then tough shit. No, you are supposed to represent these people. You represent the people of West Virginia. And you are basically spitting in their faces. Well, look, here's the thing. We will try to primary you. And if we're unsuccessful with that effort... Then, uh, if you lose to a Republican, then so be it, because the change will be marginal, at best, between you and a Republican. So, you know what? Joe Manchin, you made your bed, lie in it. I really hope that you are kicked out of office, because 
you are you are one of the most disrespectful senators in the country to your constituents. It's unacceptable. You should really be ashamed of yourself, but this guy is shameless. He's shown time and again that he hates his own constituents, which I don't know why you would uh, run to be a senator if you dislike the people who you're supposed to be representing. But again, he cares about the oil and gas industry. He doesn't care about voters. He doesn't care about his constituents. So if that's the case, then give him his wish. Kick him out of office because he clearly is miserable there and hates his job. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.